Hello there guys, this is Toxibyte. Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to connect via MIDI your Roland TV3 to FL Studio. I've got my TV3 a little while ago and it's a fun machine to play with. It's actually easier to use than the original TV303 and it has some neat sounds in it. However, using it directly might not come in handy as opposed to the use of other synths, especially BSTs. So, in order to connect the TV3 to your FL Studio the way I did it, you'll need obviously the TV3, I updated mine to software 1.10 by the way, MIDI cable, an audio interface that has MIDI I.O. And by the way, I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 18i8. Alright, so this is very simple, but I've seen a lot of people struggling to use the MIDI capabilities. Despite the MIDI being really old, it's still very useful to this day, and you'll see why in a minute. Alright, so you'll need to connect your interface MIDI out to the TV3's MIDI in. And by doing this, we'll set a path for the interface to send messages to the TV3 for it to use in different ways, being sequences, moving the controls, and whatnot. Now in FL Studio, open a new pattern, name it MIDI out to TV3, and create a new channel with the MIDI out BST that comes included with FL Studio. Now turn off your TV tree and turn it back on while pressing the scatter button. If the C and D keys in the keyboard aren't really on, just press them. This enables MIDI in and out in the synth. Now take a look in the little sound display. It says the channel your TV tree is set for MIDI use. Write it down if needed. I'm using channel 2. You can change it by turning the value dial. Now press a play and it will turn on. Open the MIDI out BST you created in FL Studio and set it according to your TV3 settings. I have mine set to port 0, channel 2. We're almost there. Now you can use FL Studio to create way more complex patterns that what they built in sequencer of the TV3 kit. At this point I can now use my Quark microcontrol to trigger the notes. Keep in mind that the TV3 is monophonic synth, so you can make chords with it, or if you hit two notes with a little separation from one another, it will slide. The MIDI out BST in FL Studio also offers a bunch of programmable knobs. We will link them to control the filter cutoff, filter resonance, scatter depth, accent, as well as X and Y controls for the mod envelope. To do so, you'll need to check the codes for each setting in the official MIDI implementation chart. In this scenario, we will use CC74, which controls a filter cutoff, CC71, which controls a filter resonance, CC16, which controls the accent knob, CC12, which controls a modulation envelope value X, and CC13, which controls a modulation envelope value Y. The procedure is very easy. Just right click enough and then select configure. Small dialog display will come up. Name the control with the desired name for what you will use. And put the desired number in the controller hashtag or controlling number part. It usually comes default with the CC setting, so leave it that way. Finally, just check the min and maximum values are set from 0 to 127. And that's it, we're done. Now you can use your TV tree fully from FL Studio. I created a little example how it works. Each knob you'll control using an automation clip and drawing the desired behavior throughout the song. Thank you so much for watching. Toxic Bike, signing out.